Welcome to the PLC Fundamentals course. In this video, we will be talking about how to address PLC input and output channels. In the last video, we talked about wiring PLC input and output signals. Also, we powered up the PLC with a power supply. Once we wire a PLC input and output signals, we also have to address those specific input and output signals because we will have to refer it in our logic or PLC program. So as we talked about in the last video, here are 16 digital input channels in this PLC. This is the CPU 1214C Simmons PLC and it has a total of 16 digital input channels 16 di channels so once we connect for example we connect 16 various sensors digital sensors to these 16 channels then we will also have to refer it into our plc program because we have to use it in the PLC program. So the very first input channel will be addressed like this I well I means input 0, 0.0 the second one will be addressed is I 0, 0.1 the third one is I 0. 0.0. The fourth one will be referred as I 0. 0.3 and so on to I 0. 0.7. So if you see here as uh, over here 0 has been written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Once we reach 7, it starts again from 0. So the first byte are the first 8 input channels, digital input channels, have been addressed like this. And if you further look at the each address, you will see that the first number that is on the left side at the decimal point is referring the byte number right as we have discussed in the plc data types byte is one of the plc data type and it has eight bits so the the number that is towards the left of the decimal point represent the byte number while the number that is on the right side of the decimal point represent the bit number so the first eight digital input channels will lie in the first byte because byte has eight bits so we will number it as zeroth byte while the input channel of each byte will be numbered from 0 1 2 3 all the way to the 7 so the first byte address 0 it will accommodate eight input channels once we start again we will are having six additional digital inputs so to to refer those additional inputs we will start from one i 1.0 i 1.1 and all the way to i 1.5 so six digital input channels have been addressed starting from i 1.0 and ending to towards i 1.5 so this is how we refer the input digital input channels in our plc program let me explain again take any digital input signal for example 
i 0 0.2 the number that is toward the left represent the byte number while the number that is towards the right of the digital decimal input represents the bit number while this represent the nature of the signal whether it is input or output in this case it is input channel so in this way we referred the total 16 digital input channels of this particular Siemens 1214C PLC Digital input sensor for example speed sensor is connected to this first digital input channel or it is wired to the first digital input channel then while in the logic we will refer to the speed sensor signal as I0.0 Similarly, if we have any other signal, for example, the readiness of the motor or the emergency signal coming from an MCC of the motor, for example, it has been wired to the second channel and third channel respectively, we will refer to the readiness of the motor as I0.1 in our PLC program and I0.2 for the emergency button. This is the speed sensor of the motor. The readiness of the motor is interfaced or connected to the second digital input channel referred to as I0.1 and the emergency of the motor is riff is interfaced with i0 point is and the emergency is referred as i0.2 the emergency signal now we are done with the input addressing now come toward the digital output addressing now let's talk about the output addressing the digital bam now let's talk about the digital output addressing how to uh, how to address a digital output channel well it is pretty much the same as input addressing except the fact that the symbol q will be changed and the first digital output check as channel will be referred as q 0.0 .0. Bam. Now let's talk about the digital output addressing. Well, the digital output addressing is pretty much the same as input addressing, except the fact that the symbol will be changed is Q. And the first digital output channel will be referred as Q0.0 .0 in the logic. Or you can say that it will be addressed at Q0.0. .0. Again, the word Q means It is the symbol for output zero that is towards the left of the decimal point is the address of byte while the number that is towards the right of the decimal point is the bit number. So this is how the first digital output channel is addressed. Since in this case, or in this PLC, we have 10 digital output channels. So the first will be addressed as Q0.0, the second is Q0.1, the third is Q0.2, the fourth is Q0.3, the fifth is Q0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, Q, 0 0.7. Once we are done with one byte, 
well the next at the, the addressing of the ninth digital output channel will be started is q1.0 q1.1 this is the last address the last channel is the 10th digital output channel we cannot have q0.8 because a byte cannot have more than 8 bits simple enough so this is how we address the digital output channels for example we connect a relay coil to the first digital output channel then the for example this is a motor the relay of a motor then in our logic we will refer to the motor command is q0.0 So this is how we address various digital input and output channels. After addressing them, we can use them in our PLC program. In the next video, we will be talking about how to address memory bits, various analog input and output channels. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.